Welcome to another episode of Real Cooking and Baking with Chef Jazzy B. Today I will be cooking up some delicious, delicious pressure cooker oven baked beef ribs. So the Father's Day is coming up and you ladies, I'm doing it for you so you can give your man a rest for the day and treat him but with some good, good, delicious food. But before I do that, remember to subscribe to your girl, Chef Jazzy B. Now, I'm going to subscribe, you like, you share, you follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Don't forget to post a picture of your own food in my Facebook group. And as always, I thank you for your support and I love you. And with that said, let's begin cooking up some delicious food okay so i have me a pack of this beef ribs here that um i tie and i'm gonna just get it from the plastic bag and I'm just gonna throw away this plastic before I start to clean up my ribs So first, I'm just going to wash it off with some cold water to begin with. And this is just one pack. So I'm going to just cut it into this large piece into. Remember to cut the meat side. You cannot cut the bone. You just look for in here, in between the bone and cut. All right. More I have two ounces of vinegar in here that I'm gonna throw on it to help clean it okay and give it a I need a nice rinse you're not supposed to wash your meat too too much you wash the flavor off so all right so i have i'm gonna come over here and i'm gonna put it in this pressure cooker here i'm also gonna plug in my pressure cooker So this about two cups of water I'm gonna put in there for right now. But I'm gonna um season up my rib and this I use a tablespoon of the easy spice meat season and also a tablespoon of tonies. Okay. I'm just gonna just do the dry rub and you can rub it you can do this from overnight I'm doing videos that's why I don't do this stuff from overnight 
I'm just showing you. And you just drop it in your pressure cooker. This is pressure cooker inside oven barbecue ribs, okay? Uh, so you go treat your man to some delicious, delicious food. Nothing too hard, something easy, but yet still so delicious. So it's need more water. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch a little bit more water in here. And you see, I still, I'm not wasting another dry rub that I did put in my season. So I catch the water in the same part, in the same part. So these are fresh, 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 fresh stuff. I cut from my garden. I love organic stuff. As you can see, they're looking real green and pretty. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna drop in there. So it can pressure with the meat and everything tasting good. Also, I'm going to use these pepper, sweet bell pepper. I want everything to taste good. So you notice I'm using the four color, the three different color, the green, the red, the yellow, and the orange. I think the four color, the green, the red, the yellow, and orange. I'm also have garlic here. I'm gonna use this bigger thing and I'm gonna just crush my garlic. I'm go also gonna drop it's just one clubs of garlic just drop my garlic in there also have my onion oh, you cannot leave out your onion So you go cook up your man some delicious food for Father's Day. So we know we women not going on no grill, but we go do something that's real good. So you go surprise. You go be a surprise to your man, whether your man, your husband, your dad, everything. You just go surprise make a surprise for father's day okay a surprise cookie okay so when you see i have it like this and then i'm just gonna drop a um, piece of ginger I forgot my ginger, so I'm just gonna also drop a piece of ginger up in there. So, you know, you want it to taste real good. And you just drop that in there. And the, when I cover up my pressure cooker, it will spring 
more water so i'm just go have it at this make it looking good and i'm just see as you can see everything go be sweet i'm not go cover it cover all up with water because it goes sweat more water anyway and then i close my pressure cooker and i'm gonna give it 40 minutes so let's i'm gonna let it pressure for 40 minutes and as i said you go could have some surprise cooking for your man so i'm gonna you i'm gonna cook some mashed potato over here i should have my water boiling up already so you go have your barbecue ribs and your homemade mashed potato i'm setting you up ready for father's day cooking up some delicious delicious dinner so when your husband or whosoever is to you come from work then you surprise them with some delicious dinner so i'm gonna come over here and put my stove on high and i'm gonna get my potato out so this is just a few potatoes i'm gonna cook wash up these real fast So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to peel up my potato but before I do that I'm going to add a salt to my water. Adding much salt, just a little bit of salt to the water. And 
I'm just going to peel up my potato. And I'm going to make mashed potato. Mashed potato and beef ribs. That sounds real good, right? Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so when I drop a video, you can receive it, okay? My, fa my Facebook group name is Jasmine Buchanan. So you can post a picture of your food in my facebook group that would be awesome you can sh show me some support by posting your whether you go cook my dish or your dish in my facebook group don't forget to like and share Give me a follow on TikTok and Instagram. Also on Facebook. And that's done. So, let me go wash these off again. them to cook easy I'm just gonna split them in two so they can cook easy and meanwhile I have that going I'm just gonna start cut up my decorations um, I'm just gonna start cut up my decoration for for the ribs so when it's finished it will be looking nice and I'm going to eat barbecue. I'm going to use these barbecue sauce here. So I have the sweet and spicy and I have the hickory smoke. So I'm going to give it the smoke flavor and the um, sweet and spicy. And I'm going to mix it together. Okay. I just went ahead and buy them so you know you're doing something quick and easy it's a surprise dinner for Father's Day all right but it's gonna be so so delicious okay so I'll be going ahead and um start cut up my bell peppers my four different color bell pepper for my decoration and I will show you my next my next move when 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 my ribs is um is cooked from the pressure cooker or my potato is cooked so my potato is cooked like for around 15 minutes as you can see there's um really where i want them they start to oh this they start to um mash out so that's how i want it because i'm gonna finish mash them out so i'm gonna just drain off the potato water in here And this is easy Father's Day dinner. I'm gonna come over there with the potato. And I'm gonna 
add butter to the potato. That's around an ounce of butter. And you can see it, it would well cook. You have to make it well cook where it starts to um, mash out. So you see how easy that looks. Then I'm going to add a little bit more butter. Add me some salt to... So you're cooking easy for this day dinner, beef ribs, mashed potato, and meanwhile I did cook some corn. That's some, um, I just cook corn in salt water and butter. So easy for this day dinner. So now I get the potato mash out. I'm gonna add me some milk to the potato. The salt go be salt to taste. And it go depend on how much milk you want in your potato, okay? So, but because the milk cold, I really crush my potato first. I use around two ounces of milk. I really um crush my potato first because um the milk cold, so it's easier to crush. So there, don't it look nice? Don't this look nice? Easy mashed potato from scratch. Not in the box, but from scratch. Butter, salt, and milk. Look there. So easy, creamy, and nice. So I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna set this aside until I'm ready for it. And I'm gonna come over here and start my decoration for my meat, for my ribs. So these are gonna be my decoration for my ribs. That what I'm gonna use. So, I'm going to come over here and start up my I already washed these veg, so I already washed them. So, I'm gonna need this, but I'm gonna need this. As I said, these are like this. You see how this long and look different? It's organic skeleton from my garden. I will just plant these stuff and they grow. I don't have a big garden, but I will have my time something easy some herbs easy to grow that save you money also and i tell you they taste real good
this just going on top of my on top of my mashed potato and some grain on top of my ribs so easy father's day dinner again the menu is barbecue ribs mashed potato and corn okay surprise surprise your loved one with something nice when your food look colorful it's also enticing so I'm gonna have this orange over here bright color bright color for the summer be careful with knife think that has much orange oh you go have to use your red and the seed I will just throw them outside and let them grow so you can have your fresh organic stuff that you don't have to buy that save you money Thank you for watching my show my show is really a success and it's really successful it's just me and my daughter run my show and it's really successful for just two of us to run my show so i really thank thank all my supporters and i'm a fan who watch me who support me from the beginning i family friends people who i don't know people who i know I really do thank you. I appreciate you and just continue watch me cooking up some awesome, awesome, awesome and delicious food. The big old be like my food. My food is easy, delicious and not expensive. So I'm going to save you money. I save you time and money thanks to all who comment thank you thank you thank you for all your comments and your life it's well appreciated i have over 12 thousand likes and one videos and i think I think I have 15,000 likes on one video and around um, 10,000 comments, something real like that on one video. I really do appreciate it because it's just me and my daughter here working together. So I really just appreciate you loving me, watching me cooking using my ideas who told me they um, try my food and it was delicious 
I really do appreciate your response back to me and tell me how my recipe is delicious. So make sure you save transformation of turkey. Uh, I take the turkey neck and turn in ax, make it taste just like ax tail. Make sure you watch that, save that for Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up. Transformation of Turkey by Chef Jazzy B. As you see what I'm doing here, I have the red, the orange, the green, the yellow. I want these for duck to sprinkle and my um let me finish up this orange. I want these to sprinkle and my barbecue ribs for decoration. I'm gonna put it in the oven also so these cook up for a light bulb. Another five minutes to just crisp up. I just can't see all these vegetables can eat raw. But I'm gonna put it in when my meat going in the oven. I'm just go go ahead and put it in the oven. Also, my can is cooked. As I said, I have several videos how I do a can. I like husk can. That's fresh can. Okay, I don't like the frozen can, and I just hot it out and cook it in salt and butter water. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my oven for 385 degree. So can go ahead and start to preheat. So meanwhile, um, this have two more minutes, the pressure cooker have two more minutes and the ribs. I'm gonna just continue to cut up my veg vegetable to put on my ribs. So my ribs can be looking real nice and appealing to the eye. That way it's cooked with colors and flavor. And be careful of your knife. So you can see I have the four different color here. Also have the, as I said, I have the orange, the red, the yellow, the green. And I'm also gonna use my onion to, but you cannot leave your onion out. So. Just gonna cut it in between. Do it like that. So I just want it to be on top of my my ribs to crisp up. Surprise, my meat pressure for 55 minutes. Okay, this is my meat here. So I'm gonna throw around a couple of this sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. Remember we're doing something quick and easy and to give it this smoky flavor. I have the hickory smoke one. So I'm gonna mix both of them together. I'm gonna use my fork and just dip it in here. So you pressure your meat till it becomes soft because you just want to really 
crisp up the meat in the pressure cooker and you season so you go cook your meat till it become soft once you put it on the in the barbecue sauce it go looks real good Um, my oven setting my oven to 285 degree so I just rub it up in the barbecue sauce so it can coat everything can coat And that's a big piece but that's juice and you see it's falling off the bone but it's I want the sauce to go through and through it Need to cut this this slightly salty. Again, I have this piece. I'm gonna also Yeah, some big barbecue ribs. This um some big beef ribs. See if none in here. just gonna go ahead and um, because I want it to really caramel caramelize on the meat so then I go ahead now and I said I have the red bell pepper. I have the red rusfa color, and I'm gonna make it crisp up there. Put my onion. Now I get the yellow. Now I get the green. See where I'm going with it, then I get little orange. <laughs> Some more orange. Now I get little bit of skeleton. That is looks pretty. And I use the same beef I have the sauce that was left in the 
bowl. I use little tip of this beef water here and I'm gonna just caramelize up the, the bone so it tastes real good. So I don't, so it can be also juicy. Don't that look awesome and beautiful? And I'm not going to put it in the oven for long. I'm just going to crisp it, make it crisp, um, the veg crisp up and the meat caramelized, caramelized and delicious, delicious. Okay. When I put my, when, when I did, at first I pressure for 40 minutes, it did not done. So I add another 15 minutes. It's up to your pressure cooker. It's up to how big your ribs, your beef ribs is, uh, whatsever rib, ribs you're doing. It's the up to how big it is. But don't this looks awesome and delicious. And it's, I'm gonna put it in the oven and my oven is ready. And then now uh, I'm gonna put it in there for maybe around five minutes. Because it's already looking so awesome but it's need to be crisp so I come back and show you my finished product beef is crisp up and, and caramelized up for five minutes at 385 degree okay so remember this is easy Father's Day dinner I'm putting you mothers to work ladies to work so give the fathers a rest and surprise them with this beautiful dish that i'm gonna prepare now all right so i show you how this potato here is so nice and soft and hot freshly made so i need another scoops right there have my pan over here it's just I just use um, salt water and butter for my can and my can go here right can add another can to just for your plate to look real real pretty Oh my size said this can no. <laughs> Just like that so it don't look like a whole can. Then I come over here and I'm gonna use that beef ribs right here. Don't it's coming together nicely. It's, it's coming together real nicely. So what I did, you just make you a little little sauce from the same caramelized sauce that in the pan and just put it and tapa here don't that look beautiful that looks so nice and elegant and what else should i use i don't think yeah i don't think this plate need anything else for a good surprise Father's Day dinner special. You have your mashed potato, your can, and your ribs. Don't that's awesome. So look out for my Father's Day 
cakes that coming up and i hope you surprise your man with this special easy delicious dinner so and remember to subscribe to real cooking and baking with your girl chef jazzy b now only subscribe you like you share you tell others about my video remember to turn on your notification bell so when i drop a video you will be the first one to receive it you don't want to miss out on this awesome cooking and please post a picture of your own food in my facebook group my facebook group name is jasmine buchanan give me a follow and tic tac and instagram remember i love you and i see you next time for another awesome awesome recipe this is chef jazzy b say bye for now